Dominic Chapman, a famous family you come from, the hoteliers, um, brought up in the trade. Uh, you've just opened uh, the beehive here at White Waltham, and it's a very exciting thing, isn't it? Because you, you're actually going to open, which, well, you have opened, but you're going to improve it as you go along. You've decided just to open as it is and then grow it. Exactly. Well, this, this has been a lifelong dream of mine to have my own business. Um, you know, going into the family business was there, obviously, but I never really wanted to do that. And I also kind of moved away from Somerset many years ago and ended up coming to Berkshire. And I, I love this area. My family are now living in this area, going to school in this area. We've, we've settled. So the opportunity to open the Beehive came about and I, I grabbed it with both hands. And it's very, very exciting. It really is. So you've been open here only about 12 weeks now. Yeah, yeah, less. Less, really? just, just, just sort of uh, just over two months. But two, you're two already months. established. You've uh, already won awards, which yeah. is incredibly. I mean, we've got a lot to do. We've got a hell of a lot to do, yeah. but it's massively exciting. Um, and, and straight away from day one, we introduced my philosophy of food, which is, you know, seasonal food. Everything's beautiful, beautiful ingredients, cooked properly, lovely menu, and a menu that's enticing that you want to eat. Um, but not not too not too chefy, you know. It's real food, uh, f the kind the kind of food you know. You can come and have a bowl of soup. You can come and have a have a steak, or you can have roast grouse or razor clams, something like that. It's it, you know, it's the food I'm cooking from my heart. I, I love I love this food. And um, the thing about your food is the simplicity of it, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It it, it is it is fairly simple. However, fairly simple food you have to get right. The flavors need to be right. The, food, the, the, the ingredients need to be as fresh as possible. So it's vital that I'm buying every day beautiful fresh produce, meat and fish, and, and we've, got a, we've got customers coming through the door that want to eat it. So I've got, um, I've got a classic cra crab linguine with chili, uh, a di delicious little endive salad with pears and walnut celery, which is, which is lovely. So I'm, I'm trying to angle, people tell me you need salads on the menu. So I've got a Caesar salad, I've got a, a blue cheese um, endive salad. Uh, cauliflower soup with Stilton, a, a, again, a classic. All these dishes, they're, 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 you, you see them quite regularly. They're quite classical dishes, but you, I've given them that little tweak of, um, you know, elevation, light, all the soups are finished with a hand blender, just to lighten them up. Um, finish with a, a little bit of butter just to give more flavor. Everything should be seasoned beautifully and finished. Finishing is absolutely vital to what we do. So there's a lot of love in this menu. There's a lot of love in this whole building actually. And, and, and we, want to, we want to kind of harness that and, and create something really special. So again, the main courses, they're quite varied. I've got a bit, a bit of fish, quite, quite a bit of fish because I love it and I think it's so good. Uh, meat I do, calves liver, I do a ribeye steak. It was interesting what you said just now about your customers because you obviously take note of what they say. Absolutely. You have to listen to what your customers say. Not all of it, but a lot of it, sure. particularly the kind of dishes they want to eat. Yeah. Um, and then try and offer something for everybody. Um, you know, the foodies amongst us, they're going to go for the razor clams and the grouse every time. But then the ladies who want to come and have a quick lunch, they might have a bowl of soup. And then fish and chips, sure. and, and 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 that's that's available at the Beehive, and that that will be. But as long as I can produce this food, this food at a certain level, that, that's what I'm interested at. It's, sure. it's all got to be delicious. It's all got to have that little love and passion in every each and each and every dish, um, and that's got to shine through. How many covers do you have? So we've uh, got about 75, 80 covers actually. Oh, so, so so it's it's a pretty decent size, yeah. and. In the kitchen at the moment, you know, we, we need to we need to modernise. We need to, we need to create a better space. We need to add a couple of other, a couple of ovens just to just to make the make, make the business more efficient. And you want to make a nice working environment for, for the team because um, that's very important. Well, and you're going to do some work in the dining room as well. Yeah, yeah. Literally, we 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 open, We got the keys on the Monday, and we open on the Tuesday. <laughs> Um, so there's everything to do. There really is. And we've done bits. You know, we've, we've started putting a few soft furnishings in, changed a few pictures, bought some glasses, added napkins. But we need to do the cutlery. We need to do the crockery. Sure. We need to do the carpets. We need to paint the place. We need, we need to put some curtains up. It is endless what we need to do. But isn't it slightly worrying, the fact that you're already packed out? 
And now you're going to change it. <laughs> it's, it's brilliant. No, it's wonderful. I, I, you know, I'm actually quite paranoid that if I do change things too much, everybody will go away. Sure. I'm, I'm, I'm massively par paranoid. Um, I don't want to do that. I want to retain this special place and try and make it, you know, even better if I possibly can. Sure. And, and, you know, from a point of view of producing wonderful food and, and, and offering a brilliant service, friendly environment, lovely wine list, that, that, that's what I want to do. This pub has a huge village spirit community. Yeah. Um, people love this pub and, and, you know, on a daily basis, they tell me when I'm doing something they don't like. Um, so it's very, very important that we retain this as the village pub so people can feel and they can come here and have a pint of beer, have a sandwich, have a scotch egg. Um, you know, that's, that's very, very important. Everything that people should experience at the Beehive should be delicious. And that's from a pint of ale, pint of beer, a pint of lager, Bloody Mary, or the cooking coming out of the kitchen. If it's delicious, I want it on the menu. And, and, and that's the key word at the Beehive. Sounds a great philosophy. I wish you lots of luck, Dominic. Thank you. It's, uh, it's great to be here. Thank you very much.